Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tina. I want to go ahead and shout out Dominique Martin. She was one of the first ones to send me an update of this story. So what's going on is that we have a three-year-old boy, and he went missing back in October. It's now come out that little Brandon Credo was killed by his father, David Credo. And the reason why he killed this precious little three-year-old boy is because his 17-year-old girlfriend disliked children. The father of this child, he's a 22-year-old man, and he was dating a 17-year-old girl. And, you know, at 17 years old, she's just not into children. She's not, you know, trying to be a teen mom. And so she would write on her blog how much she disliked children. And she basically gave this dude an ultimatum. Either he'd give up visitation of his child and be with her fully, or else she was going to move on and be with somebody else. So instead of him cutting this bitch off or just giving up visitation, he decides to kill his son. This entire situation makes no sense whatsoever. Go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. He's a Camden County father accused of murdering his own son. Today he was in court for his arraignment and the hearing gave us new details about what prosecutors say happened in this case. Chad Perdelli was in the courtroom there today. He joins us now live in Camden. Uh, Chad, a chilling day there. Yeah, Brian, prosecutors painted the picture of a young father enamored with his new teenage girlfriend and willing to kill his own son for her. But when, where, and exactly how Brendan Criado was killed was not revealed. Prosecutors say David DJ Criado was jealous and paranoid in the hours leading up to his son's disappearance last October. His motive? His new 17-year-old girlfriend allegedly didn't like children and disdained him from spending time with his three-year-old son. She repeatedly threatened to break up with the defendant and he repeatedly begged her not to. The medical examiner never ruled on an exact cause of death, but determined it a homicide by strangulation, smothering, or drowning. The 22-year-old said he awoke and found his son simply gone. I, I just woke up and he wasn't in my apartment. I don't know if he wandered out or what happened. I, I don't know where he is. The door was locked. I guess he unlocked it and left. Brendan was later found partially submerged in a wooded section near Cooper River Park. Prosecutors say his socks were perfectly clean, meaning he was placed there. And the remote location was an area known to his father, who prosecutors say took his new girlfriend to the very location 30 times prior to the killing, even snapping a cell phone photo of it. After the arraignment, Criado's parents and their son's attorney spoke briefly. We love him very much and we support him through all of this. Right. May justice be real. The circumstantial is certainly the only word that I can think to use. And as you heard me say in, in open court, uh, it's a weak circumstantial case. And bail was set at one, uh, excuse me, $750,000 cash or bond. It's unclear if Criado has posted. I'm lying. All right, so you guys just watched that disgusting news clip. I don't understand why his bail is so low. This trailer trash man needs to be in jail for the rest of his life. This whole situation is sickening. I also see a lot of people online blaming the 17 year old girl. At the end of the day, the 17-year-old girl did not tell that man to kill his son. She basically stated her opinion that she did not want to date somebody with kids. At 17 years old, if I don't have any children, I'm not looking to be a step-parent. So I don't blame her. Her telling him that she does not want to date somebody with a child does not mean that you take it into your own hands and you kill your child. The thing that trips me out about this story is that a lot of people have it misconstrued. This man did not have full custody of this little boy. This man was not a single father. The mother had primary custody of this little boy. This man only saw his son twice a month. That was it. He only saw him twice a month on the weekends. So for him to sit there and kill this boy just so he can keep up with his 17-year-old girlfriend, it shows how sick and demented this asshole is. He could have easily just walked away from the relationship, you know what I'm saying, and said, you know what, I'm not about to choose between you and my son. If it was that serious, he could have just told the mother that he doesn't want to have anything to do with the son and let the mother take care of her child. But instead, he chose to kill this baby, lie about it. People were out there searching for for weeks for this little boy. His body was just recently found and then to find out that his father was the one who killed him. To me, this entire story is just disgusting. His ass needs to be thrown under the jail. And the people trying to blame the 17 year old girl are just trying to make excuses for what the father did. At the end of the day, the 17 year old girl did not put a gun to his head. She stated his opinion the same way a lot of men will state that they don't date single mothers and that they don't want to date women with children. And that's fine. People are entitled to have their opinion. People are entitled to
to have their standards. Why is it not okay when a 17-year-old girl says that she's not going to be a stepmom and that she doesn't want to date somebody with children? You know, I don't understand how he's upset. Either get with somebody who also has a child or get with somebody who's willing to accept your child, but you don't kill your child in order to date a damn 17-year-old. It's not like this 17-year-old high schooler could do something for his 22-year-old ass any damn ways. You know, so the whole situation to me is just re damn dickless. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation that's coming from New Jersey. How do you feel about this father and what he did? And do you put any of the blame on the 17-year-old girl like some of the commenters on Yahoo.com are saying? Or do you feel like this is solely on the father? This is 100% his fault. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.